The second attribute is bind properties. Bind properties is also an attribute and it is used to map the incoming form data to the public properties of the controller. The binding concept of the bind property attribute and the bind properties attribute is same. Bind properties work on simple and complex objects. By default, the bind properties does not work for HTTP GET request. Bind properties is applied on the controller level. This is the only difference in between bind property and the bind properties. We are using the bind property individually on all the properties that we have defined in the controller file. But if you are using the bind properties, then you can use this attribute at the controller level and there is no need to define the bind property on each property individually. Let's see how it works. Let's remove this bind property from here and let's comment this country property. Open the country model and let's copy all three properties. Paste them over here. Update the code from here. And this time instead of using the bind property, we will be using bind properties. The bind properties works on the controller level. So here you can use the bind properties. And there is no need to define any attribute at the property level. That's it. Let's build this application. Build is successful. Let's run the application in debug mode. Let's put a breakpoint over here and open the postman. Send the same request again. Let's see what we got in the property. We are getting null because by default the bind properties also not works with the get request. So first we can start with the HTTP post. Run the application again. Open the postman and here let's use the post method. Hit the send button. Let's see what we got in the properties. We are having the values in the name, the population and the area. This is how we can use this bind properties attribute at the controller level to bind all the properties of this controller. Click on the continue button. And here is the output. This code will also work with the complex type property. So if we enable this one and comment all these properties, update the code over here. Let's run this application again. Send the request by clicking on the send button. And let's see what we got in this country property. Here we got all three properties that we are sending in the request. Click on the continue button. To enable the support of the HTTP GET request, we need to set the supports GET property to true. To view the details, we can right click on this one and choose go to definition. And here is the property supports GET. If we are passing true in the supports GET, then the data binding will work for the GET request also. And this time, let's make it HTTP GET. Run this application again in debug mode. From the postman, let's use the GET method and hit the send button. Here we got the debugger and let's see what data we got in this country property. We have everything that we are sending in our HTTP request. This is how you can use the bind properties at the controller level to bind all the properties of your controller file.